All right, this video is on the Deliberate Life Sandal. And I just want to be right up front with what you're going to get in this video. If you are just kind of a casual viewer and you're kind of just expecting just, you know, a two or three minute video on sandals good or the sandals bad, that's this is not the video. Again, what I tried to do is make the video that I would want to see after I was at the point where, all right, I think this is the sandal that I want to get, but I want more than just someone holding up a sandal and saying, buy it, it's good. Uh, so I take you through from everything from unboxing to adjusting the straps, to putting it on, to even showing you samples of the type of terrain that it could handle. Uh, Cause again, at least for where I live, I wanted to know that a sandal can handle some pretty rough stuff and not just be used for casual stuff around town. I know they can pretty much all do that. So I'll take you through, um, we'll go outside with it and we'll go on a hike with it. And uh, if you do want to skip around, you know, the very beginning is where I'm going to show you how it gets put on and I'll show you close-ups of the sandal and then skip ahead a bunch and you'll see the type of terrain uh, that it could handle. And if you go all the way to the end, you'll even see a picture of my dog. All right, let's go get the mail. So this is pretty exciting. I'm going to go check the mailbox for a package that I've been waiting for for a few weeks. It's from Deliberate Life Designs. It is a custom built sandal. And uh, this video is one in a series of minimalist shoes and sandals. And so I hope this works out. I'll let you see if it's there first. Oh yeah. Actually, let's do this like the real YouTubers do. Oh yeah. Hoping this is it. It is. All right, I'm ready to open up the package from Deliberate Life Designs and check out the new sandals. Here we go. So from the moment I placed the order until when I received them, almost about three weeks, I guess, somewhere around there. Just to give you an idea of the timeline of how long it takes, they don't just have these in stock. Again, you send them an outline of your foot. Um, I will put a link to the website in the description and there's all directions on how to trace your foot and how to get your picture to them. Sandal number one. Sandal number two. <laughs> All right, I was not expecting this. That is a nice, that is a nice little touch. Even if I never use it, that's something memorable to add to a package. So it's a little scrubby. So um, if your sandals get dirty, I guess you could scrub them. Um, and also a little instructional thing that talks about, I'm sorry, it's not a scrubby, it's a cleaning brush. And there's uh, directions about uh, making sure that you know how to clean them. Thank you, Adam. All right, and there are directions on the back that talk about how to put them on. Um, Let's not read the directions. Let's just go for it, shall we? All right. First, let's take a look at the sandals. <clears throat> now, these are the, the thickest sandals that I own. And I forgot... Uh, I want to say they're like 8 millimeters thick. I can't remember exactly. Um, and one of the reasons why I went with a thicker one is specifically because of the trails around where I am right now. If anybody happens to be local, I'm on the trails that enter into West Rock State Park, into the Quinnipiac Trail, uh, and eventually into Brooksvale Park in Hamden, Connecticut. And these are my, what I would consider my home trails. These are the trails that I can get to in five or 10 minutes. And I think they are awesome. And they have some of the best views around that most people aren't even aware of. 
uh, that, it, that they exist up on some of these uh, on tops of some of these little mountains here. And there are so many portions of the trails that are, you know, they're, they're old trails. They are really old trails. So there's a lot of washout and a lot of erosion. Um, not like ugly erosion, it's just, you know, like all the little rocks have kind of just like formed together. And so it's tough to go barefoot. It's tough to go with my very thin zero sandals. The other thing that happens, and it happened on the way into here right now, is that this time of year, you're getting tons of acorns on the ground. Um, and also after big rainstorms and stuff, uh, on the trail where the water collects, all the little tiny branches and twigs kind of collect in a puddle when it floats up. And then when the water goes away, they all stay together. And so there's big patches of the trail where there's all these tiny little sticks and stuff. Um, not to mention huge sections of the trail <clears throat> where you can go for a pretty long distance without ever touching dirt. And uh, again, my feet are getting pretty tough, my bare feet, but uh, I, I don't know not tough enough to be going over rough granite um, for long distances. Uh, and this granite has is, is not been smoothed down by thousands and thousands of people hiking over it. It's still really rough granite. So these are thicker than my other sandals. And if you can kind of see the surface, it's just very, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not perfectly smooth. And if you want to check out the sole, so somewhat of a Chevron design with the Vibram logo, logo right there. I figured I would stop here and address something that I know some people are wondering, and that is if the strap goes under the shoe, why doesn't it just wear out? So I decided to contact Adam, and so let's use his own words and why that won't happen. Hi Paul, I do get that question a fair amount. With the straps being in the arch area of the sandals, there is virtually no pressure on the strap against the ground. After the sandals form to your feet, even less of the strap touches the ground. I have seen some that will slightly fray where the webbing rubs on itself, but that is minor, takes time, and is usually a cause of sandy environments. All right, what I also figured I'd do is I'd show you putting them on. So I have no idea how these are supposed to fit. I've never put them on before. I really did just open up the package, and I know that when I was looking for sandals, um, I was wondering just how hard are they to figure out. Oh, one other thing I want to point out, if you notice, whatever you want to call that, it does not go through to the bottom. If you get the, if Adam makes you the really thin one, so it's whatever it is, like five millimeters thick, this little thing does come through the bottom. And um, all right, let's try to put them on, shall we? Okay. So it's basically got a couple of straps this one is going to go over the front of your ankle. This one is going to go around your heel. And this is some kind of special strap for extra support that goes over your ankle. Um, unlike some of the other sandals and the Zeros, this one just has a nice clip that clips in and out. So let's see how it goes. I'm assuming since this goes over my ankle that I'm going to have to undo it. I'm not sure. Um... I'm not sure how otherwise to get my ankle in. Maybe I go like this. All right, now as with a lot of sandals, it takes some fine tuning. And so however you have them on first, it's not like a regular shoe where you try it, put it on, walk around the store and it fits or it doesn't. Um, I ex fully expect to be adjusting these over the course of the next couple of weeks. Um, and even you know, when I'm gonna go hiking right now with them, I expect to be adjusting them you know, every 20 minutes, half hour, like that would not be considered too much. I'm fully expecting to do that. I can tell you what I think I'm going to do is it's really cutting into my toe right here. So I am going to stop the camera and I'm going to adjust the straps to kind of put more slack over there. Actually, let's do this for the camera. If you're interested in these shoes, 
why not do like the whole complete thing, right? I mean, these are not cheap shoes. You might as well see the whole thing. So this is exactly how they came. And so what I need to do is there's extra slack over here. So I need to get that extra slack over to here. And so again, everything just kind of feeds through. And again, if you've never worn sandals like this, this is it's kind of a pain in the neck in the beginning, but it ends up being worth it because you really get it precise for your foot. So let's try that. Of course, I actually, when I gave more slack for my toe thing here, I took slack away from here where my heel is. So now I got to feed some slack to my heel. All right, let's try that. Yeah, this webbing is really stiff webbing. All right, I can tell you that this little ankle thing right here, I thought was, uh, so it's this, this little extra ankle thing I thought was kind of silly when I saw it on the website, but I could really see how that really seals in my foot so maybe I got lucky they certainly seem to fit so what I'm going to do is I will put on and adjust the second one and I'm going to go for I don't know probably go for an hour or so today it's about what I have time for and uh, I'll give you the first impressions when I'm done all right I just wanted to show you a mistake I made uh, when I was fiddling with the second pair. So it gets buckled like that. After I, pu I put this pair on and I adjusted the straps, there was something definitely wrong with it. It didn't fit as well as the first one. And what happened was this strap that has the buckle that comes across and clicks right there. At some point when I was adjusting, it came on the other side of the heel strap. And so you need to make sure um, that it comes onto the outside of the heel strap and it doesn't come on the inside of the heel strap. So let me show you how easy it is to put these on. So obviously you would unbuckle them when you take them off. So they'd be sitting on the floor like that. So for my big foot, I had to loosen this ankle piece as far as it goes. And uh, when it's down to either side of the heel strap, that's when you get that biggest hole right there. And so my foot, Slips right through it. You would cinch that side tight, bring it over and buckle it, and you are good to go. Um, I can tell you that right now, whoop, no. I can tell you that right now, it feels really solid. Um, but I'm, again, I'm sure I'm going to have to make some adjustment at some point. And keep in mind, that's like only the second time I've ever put this on. So I'm assuming you can do it even faster once you get used to it. Just to give you an idea of what they look like on my feet. Again, you can see these again were custom made, so there's not a lot of overhang, and in the heel, not a lot of overhang. All right, first impression so far is that I absolutely love them. 
I, I think they're fantastic. Um, and I think again, for the trails that I was aiming to wear these on, I think I nailed the right amount of thickness. And, um, I think especially, I'm going to show you where I am on the trail and a couple of examples of stuff I've stepped on. Um, but so far I've within like 10 minutes, I forgot that they were on my feet. Uh, the only thing that's happening is my foot is coming back into the shoe and settling into the heel strap. So there is space that is forming between that thing between my toe. Uh, so I will have to, again, as I said before, I'm going to have to do some adjustments, but let me just show you uh, the trail I'm on and a couple things about it. So this was the trail. And again, there's nothing special about this trail, the sticks and stuff, but I just wanted to, it just happened to be right here, a perfect example. Now, there are sections of this trail in which it's just this sort of thing goes on and on and on. And with my Zero Z treks, the thin ones were just too thin for stuff like this. Uh, you would really feel it. And again, I am not in a section of the trail where it's all over. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get there today. I'm kind of on a side shoot trail, but I, I kind of tested these shoes and kind of walked over this, even like a rock like this right there. Um, like that would not have been comfortable with the zero Z track. Uh, but with these shoes, I purposely like stepped on it to try it out. And I was able to walk over it with no issues whatsoever. Now, again, I am not looking to be, you know, indestructible and purposely land on those things. But there are sections of trails where it's pretty near impossible to not land on stuff like that. Um, or sometimes you just want to wear a pair of shoes where you don't have to be so careful. And so, so far, these are perfect. Again, I'm only, I don't even know how long I'm in. But uh, I'm not very far into wearing them for the first time. So let's keep going. I thought I would share this. The top shoe is the Zero Z Trek. The regular one, not the lightweight one. The bottom one is the Deliberate Life sandal. And one of the things that's different about each is that on the Deliberate Life, the very top layer is very, very, it's really hard. The middle layer is a little bit soft. The bottom layer, that Vibram sole, it's not really hard. There is some give to it. On the Zero Z Trek, the top layer is soft. You can stick your nail right into it. That middle layer is soft. The bottom layer is very, very hard. So I actually just came back here to film something because I noticed it. I just went through that stretch of grass right there and my feet got soaked. And when I came out of it over here, all of a sudden I realized that there was no slip whatsoever in these. And uh, I know with my other sandals, once they get wet, I mean, they're still pretty good, but there's a little bit of slip. Um, with these, there was none whatsoever. And, and one of the things I noticed the second I put them on is that whatever you call the part where your foot touches, there's that kind of that pattern on there. And it definitely seems, uh, for lack of better words, stickier. So again, it wasn't like my feet were rained on or I went through a river. I'll go find a river. I don't know if there's a river with water around here this time of year, but I'll go find a river and test it before I get back to the car. So another observation, love hate sort of thing. I am absolutely loving how they feel on the trail, but all of a sudden I found myself really missing that barefoot sort of feel. Uh, I definitely feel less of the ground in these sandals. Uh, and again, these aren't that thick. Um, and I, I'm, I'm used to very thin, the Zero Z Trek lightweight sandals. And also, there's a lot less feeling than in the Witten shoes that I did a review of. Now, again, it's kind of a love hate sort of thing. Hold on, bug. Um, I'm missing that sort of feel, but at the same time, on this trail, all of a sudden I'm realizing that I'm going over things without any worries. And so I think this sandal definitely has its place. It might not be the sandal to introduce you to that real barefoot feel. Keep in mind, I do have the thicker one. 
they do make the thinner one. So I am only talking about this thicker one, which I cannot remember the name of. I'll put it up at some point. Um, but also, if you are just brand new to sandals and going barefoot, this might be the perfect one because you can kind of go down the trail with, with no fear. Um, you know, you can step on something and, and, and not get hurt. You can go up and over rocks with no issues. And so I think this definitely has a place in helping people make a transition between the two. Or if you are a regular barefoot person and you simply have trails that are, you just kind of need a little extra, man, this thing is, they are, they are awesome so far. All right, I think I found something that would be a good test for it. Um, I was looking for some really big rocks. I've gone uphill and I've gone downhill. And man, <laughs> I love these things going uphill compared to my other shoes. They're fantastic. Uh, and so far, no sliding downhill. It wasn't that steep downhill, but this one will test it. I'm not sure if my old dog is going to like this test. But here we go. Let's, uh, yeah, huh? Let's go up this and see how they do. You know how nothing in the camera is ever as steep or as tall as it seems to be? I know I can get up to the top that way. I'm not sure if those, I thought there's a spot in the granite walls this way. So I might end up coming right back down once I hit those walls up there. But uh, this will be a good test. Let's go. All right. Here's one thing that I'm really loving about them so far, and that is their grip on these rocks. And that I can kind of treat these just like shoes. And I don't know if you can get a sense of, I don't know, the angle. I don't know, it's kind of hard in the, using the camera, but um, I don't know if you can get a sense of this rock right here, the angle that is, um, and realize that I'm out of balance. I have a dog leash and my tripod in one hand, and but one of the things that I love about them is that you can just plant your foot onto the rock and just push right up. So that's without putting any hands down. It's like, here's another rock right there. That's a really, again, <laughs> I know this looks flat. How can I even do this so that it's, you get a sense of it? I don't know. I can't get it. I can't get this in, but a rock like this, I could step right on it and push right off and I'm stuck right to it. And that's awesome. I mean, granted, it's dry right now. Um, but that is pretty impressive. All right. I do want to add something in right here because I don't want that little test I just showed you to be misconstrued. Probably any of my good outdoor shoes could have held grip on that rock. And so I wasn't really, at the time when I was doing that recording, I wasn't so impressed that it was necessarily having grip. Well, I was impressed that my sandals were sticking. What was really going through my head was that my feet in their entirety felt like they were gripping. So there was no sliding down. So even if you're in a regular trail sneaker, when you're at that angle, your foot tends to still slide down, whereas my foot was staying stable on the sandal. So just to kind of show you, I have yet to be able to get out when it's been raining with them. Um, it did just finish raining, so my feet are actually... My feet are actually soaked, like underneath the sandal. Uh, actually, look at that. I don't know if you can tell. Right under the ball of my foot there, right under the, the arch, my sandal is dry. I don't even know how that's possible, considering what I've been walking through. Um, but everything else is wet underneath, like the ball of my foot and my heel. And so, something like, like this right here. Now again, I don't know if you can get a sense of how steep it is. Uh, but you know, when you put your foot down, your foot, can I do this? Your foot sticks. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but when I'm, when I'm planting my foot or, you know, if I'm going to come down right now, I can plant my foot and the only thing I have to worry about is whether or not the sole is going to stick to the rock. I don't have to worry about any sliding of my foot. And that's kind of, that's kind of different. I don't know how far I can get. Harm my move. I don't know how far I can get before I do start slipping. But my point is that that is the sole of the shoe slipping, and it's not my foot sliding on top of the sandal, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, again, I can't get a sense of, I don't know, is that a scent like rocks like that? 
that's a pretty steep rock. Ah, that's a really, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like it's not really showing through in the camera. Um, but just trust me, so far the stickiness of them is awesome. And also, my, I don't feel my foot moving around in them. Um, that little black strap that goes up and over my ankle, that's awesome. That is an awesome idea. All right. Oh, it's no, so out of breath. I'm almost at the top. But man, again, I just opened them, I don't know how long ago, hour, hour and a half ago, I have no idea. And I have yet to readjust them. And so far they're performing awesome. I'm almost at the top of this thing. And again, I'm not sure which way we'll go. Maybe right up there seems like it's a nice, easy path. Or do we go straight up the face right here? So if nothing else, this served as a really good test to show you what they're capable of. If they can perform on this, well then <laughs> they can perform on your nice little groomed trails, I, I think. All right, ready to go up? Here we go. <clears throat> and keep in mind, I'm doing this with no hands. I have the camera in one hand, that in the other hand. This might be stupid. And I don't think my old dog can make it up here, but <coughs> let's see what she's got. You know what? <laughs> I can't do this with all the things in my hand. It's steeper than it looks. Let's go over here. That'll make the dog happy too. So again, I just don't know if I can show you just how steep this is. Like, even her with four-wheel drive is having some trouble getting up here. Almost. All right, for the record, we did make it. I don't know. <laughs> That's the best I could do. For showing any part of the view. All right, let's go home. All right, here's a section of the trail that these have been perfect on. And not that you couldn't handle this barefoot or with thinner shoes, um, but like even where I just stepped, because I was filming, I don't know if you can get a sense of that. Like that's not level, but these soles are stiff enough where you could step right on there, even right on the top, and uh, your foot is okay. So, again, on one hand, they do allow you to be a little bit lazier going over the rocks. But if you're putting out all day long, I think eventually by the end of the day, maybe you do want to get a little lazy on trails like this. And so uh, this is perfect. So the trail I'm going to go on to right now, I was just on the Quinnipiac Trail. I'm about to go on to the Regicides Trail, which uh, if anybody is ever in the New Haven area, check it out. If you ever want a really good test for your trail running abilities or your shoes, I highly recommend going down the Regicides. And uh, actually, I'll show you this view, put the camera down. Actually, I'm going to let the camera run just so you can get a sense, again, of what these shoes are capable of. And so let me show you what I'm... Karma! Ooh! Holy cow! Karma! Come here! 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 Come here. Shh, 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 shh. Sit, 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 sit. Hey, sit. Sit down. Sit down. We just came upon a whole tree of turkey vultures. There is still one right there. It's a baby turkey vulture. I don't know if you can see it. It's a young one. That's why it's not flying away. Hold on, stay. Stay. You stay too, bird. We're going to go very slowly by you. No, no, you don't have to go. Ah! There it goes. All right. You come up here during certain times of the year, all you see are turkey vultures. So, whoop, kind of drop down below the view. All right. Well, that was exciting. Whoa, there's more of them. <laughs> there's still more. All right, let's get out of here. Karma, come. Easy, easy, easy. Shh, shh, shh. All right. 
So just to give you a sense, I have not been down this trail before with these shoes. And again, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it is super steep. And again, with the sunlight, like this is a really steep rock that I am on. And I don't have any ability to use my arms for balance, and I am just sticking to it. Uh, and again, not sure what it would be like in the in the rain, but in dryness, they are like they are sticky. Ugh. All right. So first thing I'm noticing is that my foot, one of the things I was afraid of in getting these is that my foot would be shoved to the front and that little, I've never worn anything coming between my toes and I was kind of afraid that going downhill that would get shoved up between my toes. All of a sudden I just realized that it's not. I mean, my feet aren't moving forward at all and again, they are not wet. Um, and. <laughs> while the upper part of my body is soaked with sweat. Uh, again, one of the benefits of sandals is that your feet are gonna be nice and dry. And today is a hot, humid day. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it was supposed to get up to 88 and humid. And again, this is, probably doesn't get picked up in the camera. This is a much steeper downhill. So that section right there, I think uh, I would I would show it to you, but it just doesn't look steep on the camera. Um, handled that fantastic. Uh, I can't complain even a little bit. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to find some problem with these, and so far I can't. Here is a good example of what I was talking about about stretches of trails around here with all the little rocks. So there's this big stretch of trail that is nothing more than walking over little rocks like this, and these are perfect for it. And just to give you an idea of the difference, the top shoe is the Zero z Trek Lightweight, and the bottom shoe is the Deliberate Life. So you can see, again, on the Lightweight Zero, it's basically just that bottom sole. That's all you, that's all you get. Um, and again, the Deliberate Life does have a lighter weight sole. Um, and again, this is the thicker one. Okay. I think I did find one problem with the sandals and I'm kind of just making it up so that I could at least share one problem. And that is on a trail like this right here. So this is kind of like the old forest road that you take from the trailhead to access all of the single track trails. So it's relatively nice and smooth, relatively flat, and I'm trying to make it back I want to get home quick, so I'm kind of going a little faster. And what I've noticed is that the sandals are so sturdy and comfortable that for a while there, I, I, I went back to heel striking. And again, if you're wearing a minimalist shoe, if you're wearing a sandal, you're going barefoot, last thing you want to do is start heel striking. And so I think, again, if, if these are your first shoes at this thickness, you know, unless you get the super thin ones, that I think it's really important that you take some time and learn how to walk barefoot and have that be just part of who you are so that when you put these sandals on, you don't automatically kick in to wearing them like your old sneakers with heels. And so I did find myself every once in a while having to be just like, all right, slow down. Because um, again, they're so comfortable. I started over striding and heel striking, and that's not how I want to spend a day hiking. That would be a lot of pain at the end of the day. Where's my old dog? Oh, come on, buddy. You got this. She's gone much, much farther than she thought she was going today. You got this. Come on. <laughs> okay. I wasn't able to really find a good, legit river to walk through. But how about if I just get them soaked? <laughs> in the water that's left here. 
<laughs> There's nothing better than wearing sandals and being able to do this on a hike. All right. And again, no slip. That's freaky. So this isn't much of an incline, but I just went through that river. Let's try to go up. There's like no slip in them. That's crazy. Going back down. I mean, my feet are staying planted right in them. I don't know. I can give you an idea of how steep this is. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing ever looks as steep in the camera as it is in real life. But uh, just to give you an idea, just going up and down that little incline, obviously that's not much of a test. I'm not going back up there. By the time I get up there, my feet would be dry, which is another good point about sandals, is that by the time I'd walk 20, 25 minutes in this weather, my feet would be all dry again. But uh, in that little wet test, they performed great. Now this video was going to be a compilation of a bunch of different days and I think I'm just going to skip it. I don't see what else I could possibly add after today. Uh, I do plan on going on a longer hike in the next couple days and if something changes I'll add it to the end of this. But other than that, so far so good with the deliberate design sandals and uh, maybe at the end of the summer I'll do somewhat of a you know longer term review but as of right now I can't help but to recommend them. <laughs> All right, thank you.